Here is what the, what uh, President Jacob Zuma once said about U Pravin Gordon, the one who has died. Now, I will wish to take you into confidence and lead you into more understanding of what is actually going on here. Um, you will remember that at some point when Pravin Gordon was um, when Pravin Gordon was, I think it was him and Tlantlanene, if I'm not mistaken, they were both the Minister of Finance and Deputy Minister of Finance. They've gone out of the country. Uh, and I don't know what Zo how Zuma got some info. Zuma fired them before they could even reach the soil, soil of this country. They were somewhere in America campaigning for something that Zuma did not even uh, look or know about. When Zuma got hold of that, uh, that, uh, that when Zuma got hold of that information, he quickly went back and announced they are and reshuffled and then fired them whilst they were there. They, when they landed to South Africa, they were no longer minister of uh, of anything, right? You will remember that. So I'm saying to say then. I'm saying to say. There are things that Zuma has said about these people. I'm gonna play you a video that captures the moment very well. You will remember or you will recall in an a look earlier on in a letter that was released by e EFF, you will recall that I said, uh, I read something along those lines that the state-owned institutions that were destroyed were destroyed as a result of Pravin Goran. You will remember me saying that. You will remember me talking about the SAA, uh, the uh, look, ESCOM, all these beautiful, uh, look, about Denel, uh, you know what I'm saying? Most powerful institution, uh, Pravin Goran found them functioning and then destroyed them and sold them. Trustnet sold to private what what. So when Zuma speak about capitalism, Pravin Goran, is involved or was involved in capitalism and heavily involved in capitalism and he was a biggest proponent you'll remember that the eff uh the eff categorized him as a the, look as one of the servant of white capital monop white monopoly capital right so we have seen him moving along those lines when Zuma speaks here, he understood who he was speaking to, right? He understand he understood that there are people here who loves capitalism by fire, by force. But capitalism is not good for this country. Tell me if I'm lying that Pravin Koran was a proponent of capitalism, lived capitalism, breathed capitalism, spoke capitalism. Anything that was in him, it had to do with capitalism. So, you're about to hear the video from Jacob Zuma. But before I can do so, guys, it would be nice also if you do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so as we proceed here i'm about to give you the video got jacob zuma just give me a moment i would like you to listen to this video thoroughly attentively i would like you to listen to the video with both of your ears opened then you based on what i've said earlier on about uh, look about uh look reading from the letter written by eff about pravin koran 
And what Jacob Zuma is going to say now, you will realize the connection between the two. You understand? You will realize what President Jacob Zuma was basically hinting on. And that also involves Ramaphosa. But before we can successfully do so, show you the video. I would like you to listen to the video of President Jacob Zuma. Here. People want everything for themselves. Don't worry about others. Others must starve, they must have everything. They sang a song. What a system, what a crime. We can't mend it, we must end it. End it now and for all times. In a city on a corner dwell the magnates of the land, where in glory and in splendor dwell the magnates of the land. Up above the mine compound, if he joins the picket line, is a labor agitator. And his life is not worth a damn. <laughs> These were communists, unapologetic about it. In other words, said capitalist society is a crisis kind of society. That's why we've got crises continuously of anything you can think about. Wars, everything. Strikes and everything. And they were saying, socialism. And they say, capitalist society, there is a dictatorship of the capitalist class. Huh? Don't they dictate? They do. How much the price of bread? You have no say. They say. They determine. Isn't that so? And they said, you need workers guided by the party to fight for socialism. They say socialism is a system where you say from each according to his ability to each according to the work performed. That is socialist system. And they say, these old men, that's a system to ruthlessly suppress class antagonism. Uh, therefore, a dictatorship of the proletariat. Okay, now that you are done listening to the video, tell me what you have noticed. Uh, tell me the characteristics that Jacob Zuma is giving here. Doesn't, don't you think it suits the ones or the ones that are being described by the by the EFF that you Preven Kodan, you sold the, the state owned you, you you brought you sold SAA you then brought um look let's come to its needs you did the same thing with Denel you did the same thing with uh, Transnet you privatized that that is a characteristics of a capitalist of note so Preven Kodan, now we know. He was a biggest proponent of capitalism. That being said, tell me what you think about this. How do you think will be the legacy? Okay, let's leave. I've already told you what the EFF view, how the EFF view him and his legacy. But you now, listening to me, how do you think will be the legacy of the man? The man in question here. Pravin Goran, how do you think she will be remembered? I'm very keen and interested to hear your thought and your opinion about this. Why? Because it's very, it's very, it would be nice, you know, listening to different opinion, not just the political parties, because the political parties are, are look, will be assumed, Guti, ah, but very pillar, you are just a political party, you know what I'm saying, so, yo, man, you should always speak like that, but when and individually, you individually, when you think of Praven Godan, what comes first? What comes to your mind? Maybe I must also ask the people who lost their jobs when SAA were sold. How do they feel about Praven Godan? When you mention the name Praven Godan, what comes to their mind? Or if you were a member or a staff, go SAA. When you hear the word Praven Godan, what comes to your mind? I'm very keen and interested to hear your thoughts and your opinion about that. It would be nice to have a discussion about that. 
Um, Jacob Zuma, talking about this thing, Guti, this capitalism thing, it must be destroyed by fire, by force. Capitalism should be destroyed and it will not be part and parcel of us. And I, I strongly believe so, that capitalism is a bad thing. Whether we want to glorify that or we don't want to glorify that, but capitalism by its nature is a bad thing and I don't think it should be part and parcel of us. That's just my opinion. But I'm a man, born under sin, subject to corruption. You might tell me something else. I hope I'm willing to listen. Get into the conversation below. Type your comment. Definitely I will respond. Till such a time where we shall meet again. Please take care.